Hello, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today, we're going to explore Conte crayons as a sketching medium. Um, most likely monochromatic. I'll just choose one of the colors. I'll be playing around on some kind of heavyweight, 110 pound mixed media paper. This is 9 by 12. I'll probably play within like an 8 by 10 area. Um, to go back to the Conte, I haven't decided if I'm going to use the brown or the sanguine. Maybe we'll do a video of each. How does that sound? We'll play around with it and we'll explore the mark making uh, potential of them. We'll play with uh, the sanguine for this one. So I'm going to have my kneaded eraser. I have a pink eraser and I have the electric eraser. And I just spilt all my Conte pieces. I'll pick them up in a bit. And let's make sure our light looks good. This light, uh, you could change the temperature of it um, to make it kind of cool or warm. Um, it's nothing expensive, something I'd picked up off of Amazon that just helped out. There we go. All right. So, yesterday I was um, watercolor painting and I was exploring composition and I wasn't really happy with the ultimate uh, result that came out. I felt like I grew a little too large for where I was working and that's something that um, I know that I have a tendency to do. So I'm thinking that one thing that will probably help me at this stage in my journey is maybe a little bit more sketching and a little bit more preparatory work before some uh, paintings. A lot of stuff I just jump into and just have fun with it. So Conte Crayon, it's great. You can break it um, and use it on the side. You can do a lot of different marks, kind of hash marks, wider marks, and the length of it, etc. You could smudge it and have fun. So with this imaginary scene that I've been exploring, I want a kind of a, a landmass that's coming out in front of water with a receding landmass here. And then in the background, we have a further one. Um, what I had wanted was to have a mountain element. And I wanted a another mountain element here, even further back. So those two sweeps, since I'm playing monochromatically, I can tell that I have to push a little bit harder, increase the value on this guy in order to help it bring forward into the picture plane. Um, on the camera, it looks a little bit lighter than it is in person. I'm going to bring down the reflection of this water, uh, this mountain in the water. And I can explore kind of the closest portion of that landmass. If you look at a lot of the Hudson River Valley painters, uh, a lot of landscape painters, you'll see kind of a, a lower area on mountains that are, are closer. Um, I think usually those are actual locations and they were painting you know areas throughout the United States here I am just making up one and experimenting Turn that down. Now I want a landmass here get a little s-shaped composition happening so I'm gonna make a more rounded mark and Get a little bit of tree effects here. And let's bring down their reflections as well. Using that flat edge, get a little bit of tree trunk effect. Then I have my closer element, closest element. I'm looking at my height here for this imaginary scene versus my height here. If this one is smaller than this one, so this one's larger, we'll get 
more of a feel of uh, things shrinking and receding back in the picture plane. So just using like little tricks, just linear perspective, atmospheric perspective, uh, tonal values, you can easily create depth in a scene. In fact, let's just bring down what the reflection would be. So we can take a look at it real quick. Um, we go from lighter, darker, darker, darkest, you know, little tricks like that to bring it forward. Um, rarely, fairly no detail. A little bit more detail, the separation between the two. I did the rounding curves, and here you can see I'm making harsher marks to bring that forward. I'm now going to explore more detail in this layer. and see how that sits. Um, this is where I flounder in my watercolor paintings, at least recently, um, just putting in this size trees within um, a landscape. And I'm just doing the classic left to right scribble for tree marks. We can bring that effect down below. I get a big vibe of, um, I mentioned the Hudson River Valley painters, but I do have a book uh, that's called the Claude Lorraine album. It's a collection of drawings that was put together in I think the 70s of works by Claude Lorraine. Um, and that the Claude Rain was like the 1600s to 1700s. And I get that sketching vibe that I feel from it. I think if I was to do any studies out of that book, I would either use um, pen and ink, pen and wash, or just use kind of Conte. And you can get a lot of that same um, sketch effect. One of uh, my concerns compositionally is that I have that background mountain range and I know I have a tendency to obliterate and cover um, any background effect. I'd like to build up from the background forward, but uh, just so I can create the imaginary scene, but I know it's just something I have to uh, be careful of. So I'll try to leave that there, but then I start looking at this closer edge. So we kind of hit that edge here. I want to see what we can do in this spot. Maybe bring some individual trees up and see if we can get maybe something along that line. Just doing expressive marks, uh, squiggling. Um, bless you, Percy. Uh, my my two-year-old kitten. She has been sneezing since our nap earlier today. There we go. We get um, that going on. So I don't know if, what she's been sneezing over, but we'll see. All right, so I'm trying to get a mass here, but I feel at this point things are getting uh, muddled and um, kind of blending together. So now would be a great opportunity for us to explore uh, what is possible with other mark making. So let's throw a little bit in the sky and start seeing the smearing. Using the uh, pink eraser. around. Let's um, wash some here. Using my kneaded eraser to erase and smear as well. Just push things around. A 
bring some highlights out in this tree. And I have the electric eraser, which I am just absolutely in love with. Just works so good at pulling things completely back. Yesterday I was playing with white gouache on top of the painting that I had painted, so I could explore that here. If I was to take white gouache and paint on top, it would be the same as just erasing out highlights. Let's see how far we can get. Working off of that, let's bring those branches up. We could probably even find that there. And I started doing that, I'm pulling that. So, real quick uh, sketch, um, just with this uh, Conte, and um, you know, just exploring the tonal value, the textures. Um, and helping plan out paintings. So I'll probably set this one on the side and potentially work from it with watercolor and explore um, that aspect. So I hope you enjoyed. Let's see if I can sign with something like this. Please, uh, you know, like, subscribe, follow. If you have any questions, comments, anything you'd like to see, let me know down below. Y'all take care and have a great day. Bye.